Hi, I'm Alex Ferrara and I'm about to do my morning skincare routine. So I just got out of the shower, put my hair in a towel, and I'm going to take you through what I would normally do in the morning. I wouldn't normally start with a mask every single day, but today's a Sunday, I have a little extra time, so I'm doing my favorite mask. Also, these are my favorite products. Everyone has to do what works for their skin, so always do what works for your skin. For example, there's a really, really popular company, Drunk Elephant. It's one of the top beauty brands, and it makes me break out. And I know a million people who love it, but it makes me break out. So I've really learned what works for my skin, and that is what I do. So I've started with my most favorite mask. It's my favorite mask of all time, and it's the Violet C Radiance Mask by Tatcha. It's this beautiful saturated purple color. It doesn't get drying and crackly on your face. It stays glistening the entire time. It's so moisturizing and my face just feels bright but also moisturized after I take it off. It's my favorite. I love it so much. So I've had this on for about 20 minutes and now I'm going to take it off. Now my skin already feels bright and hydrated. My next step is vitamin C serum. I always do vitamin C serum every single morning. It's taken me a while to find my favorite because an interesting thing about vitamin C serum is that oxidization stops the potency. So a lot of times when it's in a jar, you're twisting it, you're opening it, the oxygen that's going in is ruining the product. Or I know that some aren't very stable and they only really stay potent for a month in. My favorite vitamin C serum right now to combat that issue is the Goop Glow Vitamin C Serum mixed with hyaluronic acid. The way they solve this problem is it comes in a package with two different products, the vitamin C powder and the hyaluronic acid, and you mix it yourself. And then it's in this glass bottle with a twist cap and it keeps it really, really stable. So I take a few drops of my Goop Glow Vitamin C Serum, rub it through my hands, and then I just pat all around my face and down my neck. And this product is really, really brightening. Vitamin C serum helps with anti-aging, fine lines, all over skin tone, and sun damage. My next product is eye cream, and I use the Honest Beauty Depuff Eye Gel. It has chamomile and caffeine in it. I am all about the de-puffing in the morning. I think most of us wake up with a puffy face, and my entire morning routine is geared towards making myself look a little bit more awake. This is great because it's a little squeezy bottle, so you don't even have to touch your face if you're a person that doesn't really like to apply products over and over with your fingers. And this little guy can work as a little massage tool to rub the product in, which I like to utilize sometimes. And then I just pat it under my eyes with my finger and it has a cooling effect. The chamomile cools down your skin, the caffeine wakes it up and depuffs, and I definitely notice a difference when I put this on. I feel like my dark circles are better and my under eyes are just way less puffy. My next step is also by Honest Beauty. It's the Honest Hydrogel Cream. I love Honest Beauty because I'm really, really passionate about clean products. I'm really passionate about limiting the amount of harmful chemicals we're putting on our bodies every single day. Honest is a company that I really, really trust. It also has just such a great price point for clean products because it's more labor intensive to make a clean product without all those chemicals. So they tend to be way more expensive and Honest Beauty really has an amazing price point. This Hydrogel Cream cream is water-based, so it's super hydrating, will not clog your pores, and it also has hyaluronic acid in it, which is intensely hydrating and amazing for your skin. So I'll go in with this, really get it all over, I'll bring it down to my neck until I feel like it's really been sufficiently hydrated. Then. I break out my first of two face tools. I love a face tool. And the first one is this gua sha tool. You can see it's this little stone with a heart shape. And this really helps sculpt your face. Again, depuff. Everything in my morning is about depuffing because we all need that. So I'm going to go in with more of this Honest Hydrogel Cream. 
a thicker layer and just kind of dot it along, not really worrying about rubbing it in because the gua sha tool needs something to really slide against so that it's slick so it doesn't pull at your skin. Once I've done that, I take my tool and I use this end to work under my eyes three times, down under my chin on my jawline three times each, and then I use the long side to kind of work the cheekbones. This is just a mini facial massage. It's not very expensive, and it just helps to tighten those muscles and really sculpt your face. And I'll do this for about a minute. Okay, that was face tool one. I have some blood flow in my face. I feel more awake. My eyes are more open. I feel more alive in general. My next tool is my jade roller, which I keep in the fridge. And this is the ultimate depuffer. Not very expensive. There's a million of them on Amazon. They're all good. I do suggest keeping it in the fridge. And you want to roll upwards. You obviously want everything going up, but it feels cool. It gets the lymphatic drainage going. It gets the blood flowing. And since it's cool to the touch, it's depuffing everything. It's also pushing your skincare products in and massaging them into your skin so that they really, really absorb. Last but not least is sunscreen. We all need sunscreen every single day. Even if you're inside, you're still getting sun through the window and we all need to protect our faces. Even if you don't want to wear sunscreen anywhere else on your body, put it on your face and neck. It's annoying, but we have to do it. So my favorite sunscreen product right now is by Kula, and it's their tinted moisturizer. My color is golden, it has SPF 30, and this is a tinted moisturizer with SPF, which is hard to find. The other reason I love this product is because it uses mineral sunscreen, not chemical. As I mentioned, I really try to use mainly clean products. So I'll use this when I want a little color, and wow, do I need a little color right now? I'm in need of some sunlight, so. I'll do two pumps of this and rub this in. It just gives me a little color and also a little coverage. I'm not super into foundation if I'm not working, if I don't have to wear it. So when in doubt, I'll usually wear this. My whole philosophy really is that I want to take really, really good care of my skin so that I can wear as little makeup as humanly possible. That's the dream. I'm a very minimal makeup person and a very high maintenance skincare person. So today I was feeling a little puffy, a little pale, need a little color. If I don't want a tinted moisturizer, if I don't need some color, I'll use my other favorite sunscreen, also by Kula, and these are called the Sun Silk Drops. These are also SPF 30. They come in this little dropper and you can just drop a few drops into your hand and put over your face, over your neck, wherever you want. This is great to keep in your bag if you need a little extra sunscreen if you're out. And makeup goes right over it. It blends right in because it's mineral sunscreen again. It's supposed to protect against sun, but also environmental and digital damages. So I know a lot of people who live in big cities use this to protect against pollution on their skin as well. So that's it. That's my morning skincare routine. I always use a vitamin C serum. I always use a moisturizer with hyaluronic acid, and I will always use a sunscreen. That is my bare minimum. And now I may or may not wear makeup today. Who knows? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I will link all the products below. And as always, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to cover in a future episode. Bye.